So let's get started and let's see how we can share our files to the different computers using uh, the file sharing options on Windows 10. So what you need to do is you need to just click on your start uh, button here and then click on the settings option. And once the setting window opens, you just need to click on the network and internet option here. And you will see your network connection here. So here you just need to click on change connection properties. And ideally in uh, your case, this should be private, but it's dependent on you if you want to uh, make your network public or private. My recommendation is make this as private and then I'm going to go back and click on status once again. And then you can scroll down on the status window and then click on this option, which says sharing options. So in this window, you can uh, change the sharing options for different network profiles. So I will show you all the uh, sections here. So under private, under network discovery, I have said turn on network di discovery here and also turn on automatic setup of network connected devices. So in my case, this both these uh, things are uh, on or selected. So you might also want to do it. If you want uh, this option, file and print uh, sharing, then uh, you can choose this option, which is turn on file and printer sharing. In my case, I have also uh, turned this on. So because my network, as I have shown you, is under private networks. So for me, uh, these uh, settings are relevant. But if you have your network on the public uh, network, then you just need to uh, click on this option, which says guest or public, and then turn on the uh, discovery here, and then turn on the file and printer and sharing from here, okay? So I have done this on my private profile, but you can do the same on uh, the guest or public. Under all networks also, you can uh, see all these options. First option is public uh, folder sharing. And under file sharing connections, I have uh, this option checked, which is use 128-bit encryption to help protect the sharing connection, which is recommended also. If you want to password protect your file sharings, then you leave this option checked. Otherwise, you can also turn off the password uh, protected sharing, okay? So I'm going to just turn it off for now. Now I will click on the choose media streaming option also. And here I can just click on turn on media streaming. In your case, by default, uh, it might be off. So I can uh, just click on this button, which says turn on media streaming. And once I click on this, I will see list of all the devices which are under the local network, right? So make sure this is local network. And if you want to allow all the devices here, you can uh, just check this checkbox. Otherwise, uncheck the checkbox. You can also uncheck the allow checkbox if you don't want to allow your files to be shared with a particular device. So I will click OK here. So if you want to save the settings, I will just uh, turn off the password protected sharing here and then click on uh, save changes. So once you do that, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my folder explorer and on top, I will just write uh, backslash backslash double black slash and then you can uh, just write, write localhost, okay? So whatever folder you will see here will be visible to the other devices which are connected on your local network. So right now I don't have any folders here. Now let's say I want to share uh, some folder on my local network. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to uh, the folder which I want to share. So let's say I want to share uh, this folder, videos folder on uh, my local network to the other devices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just right click here and then go to the properties. So just click on properties and then click on sharing option here and then just click on advanced sharing and then click on share this folder. Okay. So click on share this folder and then apply and then click OK and then just close this window. Now, once you do that under network or you can also do the same. Once again, go to the 
backslash backslash localhost uh, folder and you will see uh, the folder which you have shared okay so i can see this video folder and all the files inside the video folder so if you see uh, this uh, video folder under your local host that means it's also visible to the other devices same uh, you can do here when you click on the network you will see uh, your device which is the name of your device and then when you click uh, on uh, your device you will be able to see the folder which you have shared now if you want to give more permission let's say i want to uh, give the permission of all the files which are under the users so i want to give the access to this users folder on my local network i will just right click on this users folder and then i can also go here which says give access to and then i can go on advanced settings either i can click on this option or i can go to the properties right click properties and then sharing i will see the same option here and then i can go to the advanced sharing and then click on share this folder and then this user folder will also be visible on my uh, local network to other devices so once again when i go to the local network backslash backslash local network you can see now users folder is also available here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my other windows operating system and see if these two folders are accessible from my other devices on the same network so I will remember the name of this uh, device which is the name of this device so I will search for this name on my other computer. So now I am on my second windows operating system which is in the same network same as the previous windows operating system. So here what I can do is I can go to the file explorer so just open your file explorer and here under the networks you will be able to see all the devices which are connected to the same local network. So as I have told you that this uh, uh, desktop will be visible on the other desktop also. So this is the desktop where I have shared my file. So I will just click on this desktop and I can see the same uh, folders which I have shared in the local network and then I can go to the uh, video section and then I can play the videos from here for example and do other things with those videos right so this is how you can share uh, those files or folders i have access to this users folder also uh, 